How do you price out properties in this recession that's coming up? This is the perfect time to start real estate investing because you don't have all the homes that are you know, dragging down other investors who have been in the game for a while. But how do you price them out? How do you understand that? We're gonna go through one of the simple methods and it's all based on math. I know what people say when they think math is like shut down. We're gonna come down to one thing and that's affordability. People in the US buy anything, cars, homes, TVs on payments. So it's all based on the affordability, what they can afford and also what they qualify for because maybe they can't afford or want to afford more, but qualifications for the loan have kind of put them in a box. And that's what we're gonna go over today, looking at affordability and payments to determine where prices will be in the future and when they'll rebound. As an investor, you have to understand where prices are now and where they're gonna be in four to six months. Because that is the time when you're gonna either selling it as a flip or refinancing it and having an appraiser come in and value it for you. We're gonna look at exactly where, using the affordability method, where home prices may be. Yes, there's supply and demand, and that will also factor in, but when it comes down to medium home prices and below are based a lot on affordability, what someone can afford monthly. So let's look at the numbers. Let's look at our affordability based on home prices. Let's go and say someone qualifies or can afford around $1,000. At 7% currently, at the end of 2022, that means they qualify or could purchase a $150,000 home. But what happens when rates, and they do anticipate them going up to 8% next year? What's gonna happen is that this person is still only gonna be able to qualify for $997, but the rates are at 8%. As far as them able to afford a house, their purchasing power, what they can afford now, $136,000. Their payment, which fits in their budget, and they qualify for with a loan, now only allows them to buy a home for $136,000. What we understand rates could even go from 9% to even 10%, that's what's out there. You just have to see what the current environment is and base it on where you're coming from. What we're gonna go through here is every 1% is gonna mean a, a percentage, a drop in home prices. If rates are at 9%, what they're looking at now is the purchasing power of 124,000. The house that you're buying right now in the 7% market and you think will sell for 150, depending on where rates are gonna go, will drop in the future. The affordability will drop, and you have to take this into account when you're buying properties now for both rents and flips. Let's look at the percentage. Every time interest rates drop 1%, what happens is there is a little over 9% drop in prices. If interest rates drop 2%, it's, it's right around 17.3%. Wherever the rates are when you're buying, if you anticipate rates going up 1% or 2%, you have to account, account for affordability. You have to understand that in the future, this home may only go for 9%. This is one of the biggest factors in home pricing. Yes, supply and demand, but when the majority of people are buying, they're buying on payments and affordability. Their payments are not going to change their ability to get a loan approved is not gonna change. This whole factor works the same no matter what the rates are. So I thought I'd just go through a property for 750,000. At 7%, their payment is 4,990. If rates go to 8% and they only qualify for $4,990, that means they now, can only qualify for 680,000. If rates go to 9%, their purchasing power goes all the way down to 620. So if you're buying a property at any price point, and, and these numbers come out the same, 9%, 17%. When you're looking at purchasing now, take into account where they predict the interest rates to go. At the end of 2022, Everyone sees 8%, but there are predictions out there that it may be nine or 10. Whenever you're watching this video, make sure you understand where rates are going in the future 
and it kind of works the opposite way too, but over the next 12 to 18 months, they expect rates to continually increase, and you're gonna have to watch that as you're buying for both rentals and flips just to make sure they're profitable. If this information is helpful to you, like this video, it helps us get the message out to other investors who are trying to understand where to buy in this market. For reference, where was this last year in 2021 when people were able to buy at 3% and we know it was even lower than that. This same person in two years is gonna go from a purchasing power of 252,000 in 2021 to somewhere between 150 and 124,000. This is the same down here. This person actually had a $1.2 million plus purchasing power in 2021. There's also a mindset out there of people just a year or two being able to afford something like this and they may only be able to afford that. When you're doing these properties, especially flips, make sure the work, make sure the quality is there because these people are gonna look for quality besides just payment or they're just gonna stick where they're at. Prior to buying any properties going forward 2022, 2023, you do need to look at affordability. The US buys on payments and you need to be in there, at least the majority, the 80 to 90% buy in payments. You need to be where the payments are affordable. If you have any questions or have a deal you'd like us to look at, just email us or just leave a comment below if you have a question on this or any of the other videos. We have a lot of great videos out there, so check them out. We are here to make sure you understand there's money in the money, there's money to be made with the right financing, the right leverage. That's why we always look for the easiest, fastest, and cheapest lenders out there. So if you have a project, reach out to us. We'd be glad to help you.